Thank you for being an informed voter. I'm Dave Daggett, and I'm running to represent your interests in the State House of Representatives. And thank you for your support that helped us win the primary election. Our family history dates back to the 1880s in Washington. We live in Shelton. My wife, Janine, is a Lutheran pastor. Our son, Jensen, is an electrical apprentice. And I'm a retired Boeing engineering leader, technical fellow. I'm not a career politician, but maybe that's a good thing because it makes me get out there and talk to you all and see what your concerns are. The three things I hear most are property taxes, health care, and messed up politics. So let's talk about those. Property taxes. I want to reduce your property taxes. Your present representatives voted to increase them. A lot of the folks I've talked with said they're just barely making it and they need tax relief. But we need to also consider that property taxes pay for schools. We need to consider that Washington has the most regressive tax structure in the US. The rich pay the least in taxes and the poor pay the highest amount of their income towards taxes. I want to have a discussion with you to develop a plan to lower your property taxes that wouldn't hurt school funding and would not, not result in a state income tax. That would result in fair taxes. I can say that because our campaign doesn't receive any corporate donations or money from the wealthy 1%. I have a plan that I think would do that, but I'd like to hear your thoughts too. So let's talk. Second, health care. Maybe you've heard that the feds have a plan to cut Medicare $537 billion and cut Medicaid $1.5 trillion. They needed to do that to pay for the federal tax cuts. State legislators can't do much to affect federal programs, but we can protect state health programs. So as the federal programs are cut, it'll become more important to have someone on your side in the state legislature. Three, messed up politics. People say uh, <clears throat> they don't like all of the negative campaigning. They think politicians only work for themselves. And three, we don't have a voice in government. So my solutions? I've not responded in a negative way to the untruths hurled at our campaign. We just give out the facts. Second, my wife is a Lutheran pastor, and you know, <laughs> it kind of rubs off on you. Our faith's second greatest commandment is to do unto others as you'd have them do to you. And I try to practice that. I think it shows from all the volunteer work that we do. And three, I'd like to develop an app that would allow me to get input from every registered voter in the 35th to gauge your desires on the issues. Thank you for your time and I ask for your vote to be your next state representative.